Hey guys, good uh, good evening. I was gonna say good afternoon. What? Hey guys, how are Hello. you? Hello. Hello. Good evening. How's uh, how are you? How was your day? Fine. Are you enjoying the 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 hot weather? Well, sorry. Estaba tratando de encender la cámara. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying. That's right. <laughs> So, I'm okay. uh, you're okay. All right. Nice to see you here. Um, so anyway, so, so what do you do today? Mm, good. Uh, resting all day long. Resting, really? Oh, you, yes. you, you didn't go to work today? No, I'm on vacation. Oh, that's, what what are you doing here in El Salvador? You shouldn't be. I am here. a teacher. I'm a teacher. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I mean, <laughs> that's not what ah. I mean. Like, why? Are, I mean, you should be. I don't know. Go, go to Europe or whatever. You know. <laughs> what no, are you doing? Because my class, my English class, <laughs> have to be here. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> You could be you could be in Spain right now, you know, uh, receiving the class from your cell phone <laughs> <No>. <laughs> because of my English class. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice to see you here, Kalina. Uh, Alejandro, how are you, Alejandro? All good. Hi. Good evening. Uh, yeah, it's all good. All good. Um, all good. I have the the day off. Uh, Too. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. here I'm from Santa Ana and here is um, like um, fiestas patronales or algo así. Okay, holidays, you're on holidays. holidays there. Yeah. And, and we we have the day off in the, in the university. <laughs> All right. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, good to hear that. That's good. So everybody's resting today, huh? <laughs> Save for me. <laughs> All right, Miguel, how's it going, Miguel? Everything good? Hey, hello. See, sí. yes, every, uh, everything is good. All right, okay. Nice to see you, Janet. How are you, Janet? Everything good? Hello, good night. So very good. well today. All right, good evening. Good evening, right now. Good, good night. Evening, good, evening. Sir. All right. good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, very good. Irina, how are you, Irina? How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Uh, well, my day was hard, very hard today. Very hard? Why? Yes, because um, at my office there, there was a lot of meetings and we are, a, a, how say, to change, change office. We are moving. We are mm -hmm. moving uh, from the fourth floor at the at the building to the through the fifth floor, and to the we fifth are floor. to the fifth floor, and we are doing everything at the same time: meetings, working, moving, and all the people needs everything um, right now, and it was very. Was say awful today at the office? It was tiring. It's tiring, yes. All right, all right. Now I got you. I got that feeling. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks for being here. All right, Sonia, okay. welcome. All right, Juan Hernandez, welcome, guys. Nice to see you. All right, guys. People are coming late and late. Um. All right, very good, guys. So uh, today, guys, uh, we're gonna go over. Um, we're going to go over, guys, uh, well, today's topic, guys, and I'm going to help you with the platform section number two today. All right. And, guys, uh, have you finished section number three? Or you still haven't? No? Yes, we're teacher, good. finish. Okay. I'll finish. All right. All right. So we're going to, this week, guys, okay, before, before Thursday or on Thursday, guys, okay, please make sure to finish section number three. And you also have to take the, the midterm, okay? So the midterm, guys, is expected to be delivered this week as well, all right? Anyways, guys, okay, all right? So uh, let's get started, all right? Today's topic, guys, we're going to be talking about would rather, okay? So that's a, um, 
I think that's a fun topic, to be honest. Um, so anyways, guys. Okay. Where is that? There you go. So do, do you have any idea what happened uh, to the rest where they're still sleeping? Hold on. Where is it? Sure. Oh, it says that they can't join. Hold on. Uh, can somebody send the link, guys, please? To the to the WhatsApp group. Hold on. All right, guys. Also, guys, uh, make sure to have the cameras turned on. Sonia, Juan Hernandez, Irina, if you have them, please turn them on. That would be great. And uh, let's send the link to the group. All right, let's see if that works. All right, Luis, okay, let's go. There you go, Lenin joining in. Let's see if Myrna is able to join too. All right, guys, so anyways, okay, so today, guys, we're gonna talk about would rather and would prefer, okay? All right, very interesting topic, guys. Let's get down to it, okay? So what is the objective for today? Alejandro, please test. Would you please help me read, sir? Welcome back, Myrna. Yeah, uh, Hello. Objective. Hello. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Objective. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to express choices using would rather and would prefer. All right, now remember guys that when we say would, we do not pronounce the L, okay? Would, oh. would, da, 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 would, okay, that's how you pronounce it. Very good guys, okay, so we're gonna see would rather, would prefer, and we're gonna have some practice, okay? So let's take a look at the first example that we got on here. Uh, Miguel, all right, Miguel, help me read, Miguel. So what do we use, um, help me read this part right here. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would rather prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Negative. All right, very good. Miguel, uh, I'm going to give you a tip for reading. I couldn't understand too well um, what you were reading because you need to stretch the words, okay? You need to make them, you, you need to uh, make the sound last longer. All right, so it would be like this. Would rather takes the base form of the verb, see? Extend what you're saying, right? Okay. So uh, just, just a quick tip, okay? All right, yeah, yes, guys, okay? All right, so uh, let's take a look at the example of a question, guys, okay? So what is the example of a question that we got here? Uh, Irina, help me read, please. Okay, Peter. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? Okay, repeat. Health class. Health. Health class. There you go. Okay. Would you rather would you rather take a media class or a health class? Okay. All right. And the answer, how do we answer this? Thank you, Irina. Uh, Luis Molina, how do we answer? Okay. Um I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health there you go okay right very good okay thank you very much Luis. okay now yeah. notice notice something here guys okay when we talk about rather we're talking about options okay write that down in your notebook what do we, where are we what are we talking about guys when we talk about rather option okay so we talk about options guys okay all right now um all right, so we're gonna see more examples about this, guys. Okay, would you rather, would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? Now, let me ask you something. What do you see? What is different here 
All right, what is different from that sentence? I mean, they're asking different questions, right? But regarding the structure, guys, what is different here? What is different? What is different between rather take a media class than the, than this? Rather prefer to study. So what's different in grammar there? The infinity form. Very good. Okay, so we have an infinitive, all right? So there is an infinitive, guys, when we use prefer. Okay, so. Um, so uh so that's the difference okay all right so let's go all right let's take a look at the structure guys okay so do my favor guys everybody write down the structure and guys i need to see everybody do my favor show me your notebooks and your pens guys today i need everybody to take notes guys okay because otherwise you do not understand at the end so show me guys show me your pens and your notes and your notes okay i need to see that you have a pen there you go thank you galena thank you very much all right Super good job, super good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all right? So guys, okay, I need guys, I need you to take notes, okay? I need you to write down the structure in your notebook, okay? All right, so this is the structure, guys. When we use rather, all right? Rather, guys, if you're gonna give a, an answer with not, not is optional. Not is what, guys? Optional. optional. All right, not is optional, optional. okay? All right, not is optional. Like, you know, like your last relationship, right? It was optional, right? So, very good, guys. So, um, so these right here, guys. That's that. What I mean, guys, that's that's why it is within parentheses, okay? Right. So, let's take a look at this example right here, right? So we use rather, guys, plus the base form of the verb, which is which is weird, guys, because usually when we have a verb followed by other verb by other verbs. I'm sorry. Uh, we use the infinity. I'm sorry. We use an infinitive or we use a gerund. You know. So in this case, guys, we do not use uh, the preposition to. We're just using the base form of the verb. Okay. And this is the big difference. Okay. The base form of the verb. So, uh, for example, all right. Let's uh, let's read the first example. Uh, Rafael Escobar, if you are so kind to help me read, sir, what would be the first example? Uh, I rather I uh, rather learn English than German. Okay, repeat repeat after me. I'd rather learn English than German. I. Um, I'd. I'd. Uh, rather. Rather learn English than German. Very good. Okay, I'd rather learn English than rather, German. Rather, good job. I'd um, rather learn English than German, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so so notice, guys, okay? Notice how this becomes um, this becomes an option, okay? So what are the options that I got here, guys? What are the two options that, I, that I'm talking about here? Tell me. So when I say I'd rather learn English than German, what are the two options that I'm talking about here? German. And German. Okay, you guys, it's not e German, it's German. German. All right, German. Okay, very good. So yes, guys, okay, I'm talking about English and German. Okay, so one of two, one of one of two options. So in this case, guys, what do I prefer? What do what do I prefer, guys? English or German? English. English. All right, very good, right? You prefer English, okay? So this sentence is saying, guys, okay, hey, if I have the option, if I have two options, if I have English and if I have German, I prefer English, see? From the two options that I got, this one is the one that I'm gonna choose, okay? So that's that's what this is saying, guys, okay? Got it? Okay. okay. All yeah. right, great, great, okay. All right. Um, so when we use, when we use uh, would rather, guys, it's because of this, okay? What do we use it for? Myrna, hello, okay. Myrna. Help me read, Myrna. Okay. Uh, when the person himself expresses a, pre a preference of something, something referring to the present or future. Uh, very good. All right, just a little bit there. Thank you very much, Myrna. Good job. All right, plus for Myrna, guys. Good job, Myrna. All right, very good. So, um... 
So a preference, guys, a preference on something, okay? For example, Kalena, right? Let's, uh, I'm gonna give you a tough choice, okay? All right. Hold on, let me, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a tough choice here, okay? Do you know what a tough choice means? Means? Mm -hmm. All right, a difficult choice, right? Uh -huh. B or <laughs> show you what? all right so how will you say this with would you would you rather i rather uh, oh JB, JB it's like, Justin like Bieber. i prefer right it's like i prefer Yes, but yes. I rather Chayanne than Justin Bieber. Very good. Okay. I'd repeat I'd. I'd, 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 I'd rather. I'd, okay. I'd, All right. I'd rather Chayanne than Justin Bieber. Right. Just well, I'd rather be, okay? Because after that, remember guys, you have to use uh you have to use uh you have to use a, a verb guys in base form, okay? Listen. So Cheyenne, Cheyenne is not a verb, okay? No. Cheyenne is not a verb, okay? So I'd rather listen, you listen. know, to Cheyenne or I'd rather be with Cheyenne than Justin Bieber. All right? <laughs> all right, very good. So, um, all right, very good. Okay, so you see you have two options, right? Both options will give you a lot of money. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right, that's that's a good thing. Okay, so that doesn't matter what you choose. Okay, Irina. Okay, let's give a let's give another option to Irina, guys. All right, what should we have Irina choose between? Give me two options. Somebody give me two options. Well, um... no, no, no. Hold on. Everybody else, give me two options for Irina, so Irina can ah, decide. I'm okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Quickly, guys. Okay, uh, quickly. What Messi, you... Messi, or or Christian, or Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, mm, all right, come on. Guys. Ice cream Messi. or cake. Messi or okay. C R. And for you fans, okay. There you go. <laughs> all right, anyway, so all right, so so uh, Irina. All right, so so how will we how do we ask a question, guys? How would you ask a question to Irina, and then Irina, you can answer. But first off. How do we ask a question using would rather? Remember would is the auxiliary here. What happens to auxiliary guys in English when you wanna ask a question? All right, there's, this is the auxiliary, right? What? One. All right, so guys, okay, it's would. A, will you, no, will you rather would you rather very good one two three right one two three would, would you rather, you rather Messi... remember no. we need we need we're not there right yes would you rather watch very Messi good oh cristiano ronaldo or not oh or yeah or very good good job all right plus for thank you Marina. all right yes okay Hey, so, all right, everybody, let's ask, would you rather watch Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? Everybody, all right, let's go. Would you rather? Would you rather, would you rather, 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 rather watch rather, Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo? Watch Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. All right, Irina, so which one do you prefer? Well, I'd rather watch Messi than Cristiano Ronaldo. All right, very good. Get out of my class. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You're good. <kidding. laughs> no, no, I, I, I actually believe, I, a fun fact, guys, again, okay, fun fact, I do not watch soccer. I do not like it. I, I like playing soccer. I like playing any sport, but I don't like watching sports, you know. I never uh, grew up like that, so. Uh, but yeah, okay, so thank it's, you very much. Just sample, teacher. It's just an example. Nothing is an example here. This is Pure reality, all right? <laughs> but I, in the reality, I I rather watch Messi. Okay, right. 
All right, so okay, very good. You you like tiny men? <laughs> you know what tiny is? Yes. Small. No, <laughs> I just like the way that he plays. Okay, all right. You prefer the way he plays, okay? I rather watch the way he plays rather than Cristiano Ronaldo's, right? Very good. Okay, okay. good job, Arena. Plus for Arena, guys. Good job, Arena. Okay. So notice, okay, that we're still following the structure here, guys. Okay. This so is object a plus confessional wisdom. class. This is a what? Confessional class? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody is bringing out their secrets, right? <laughs> putting them, putting them out there so everybody can criticize. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not gonna criticize, this, guys. You're good. All right. Anyways, okay. Uh, questions so far, guys? No, I don't have questions. All right, very good. I don't have questions. Good job. Okay. I All need right. So now, practice no, more. Yes, you're in. We're, we have a we have a good practice today. Okay. All right, guys. So mm -hmm. this is guys when we are referring to. That's it. Official. All right, this future. is when we're referring to the present or the future, okay? So this is a structure, guys, that we need to use when we are referring to the present or the future, okay? Now, when we talk about the past, what is the only thing that changes when we're talking about the past, guys? Who can tell me that? Uh, and by whom, I mean uh, Zonia. Hello, Zonia. Hi, teacher. Hello, all right. So, Zonia, can, could you please tell us what changes when we're talking uh, in the past. So that versus, well, you know. Sorry, I, I don't understand your question. All right, no problem. So what I'm asking guys, okay, I'm, uh, anybody can answer this guys, okay? So what happens when I mean, what is the difference? Okay, I'm sorry. What is the difference between between this structure and this structure? The Will you on the, the, the bar have the bar. in past participle form of verb. There you go, guys. We okay. change about past form of verb. Base, base form. Okay, thank base you. Base form. All right. So the difference, guys, in the structure is that we here you have to use have. Hey, question for you. Do would I use has if it is in third person? If the subject is he, for example, should I say have here, has here, or have? Has. No. Have guys. That doesn't has. that doesn't change, okay? okay? Um, can I say he would rather? Can I say rather? No. No, right? No. The reason why I guess is because we have an auxiliary here. And this is modifying this, okay? And this, you do not touch this, guys, okay? Because it is sacred, okay? That's how the Holy Scriptures determine that. No, I'm kidding, guys. All right, very good. But that this is actually, guys, okay, <laughs> you do not modify this, okay? That's the thing, okay? So, subject plus would rather, all right? Uh, plus have plus past participle. Give me a, a past participle verb. Walked. Uh, walked. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, walked, for example, right? Uh, I would rather have walked home than staying here. See? So, all right. So that's how you can do it. You can say also, you know, I'd rather have stayed home. I'd rather have stayed home. All right, so I would rather have stayed home than going out last night, okay? Or than have gone out last night, okay? This is optional too, all right? So anyways, okay, do not focus on the past right now. We're gonna focus in, you know, on the present and the future, right? So uh, right now, guys, okay, I want you to tell me, right? You're gonna tell me, uh, two things that you would rather, okay? Would you rather go to the movie theater, right? For example, guys, okay? I'm gonna get you together, guys, and, and you're gonna ask questions, okay? Asking questions like this, guys. Would plus subject, subject, I'm sorry, uh, plus rather, plus what else? Plus base form, right? Base form. 
All right, and complement, okay? And question mark. So, okay, so, uh, so you're gonna say, would you rather go to the movie theater or, right, or the, the, amusement, the, the amusement park? Would you rather go back to your ex, you know, go back to with your ex or get a replacement? <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, all right, so this is what you're gonna do, guys, okay? These are the questions that you guys are gonna be asking uh, each other, all right? So come up with questions, guys, okay? What questions can you come up with? Now, the other person, guys, can say, oh, I would rather go back with my ex couple because I am crazy, right? I don't know, something whatever, whatever you want, right? I respect your decision, guys, okay? If, you're, if, you, uh, if you have issues, if, if not everything is, is, is good at home, guys, okay? <laughs> is everything well at home? <laughs> if, if it is not, guys, okay, I respect that. Anyways, guys, do we have any questions of what we're gonna do right now? So you are going to talk, you're going to? Talk. Very good. Guys, do me a favor and somebody please take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. So so you are not lost on what you're going to do, guys. Because every time that I get inside a breakout room, guys, there is someone who doesn't know what we're doing. Okay. So just to make sure, let's send this to the WhatsApp group. Okay. okay. And ask each other questions. Okay. All right. Uh, did somebody, did anybody take a screenshot, guys? Right. You, okay. Thank you. Thank you. For now. All right. All right, guys. So let's go. All right. Let's get together and practice. Okay. All right. You you know, guys. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna be providing you with feedback, guys. Okay. So whatever. Uh, take you know uh, feedback as something positive, right? Remember, if you make a mistake when speaking. Chiliasa, right? No, uh, I'm, I'm just going to correct you guys. I'm going to help you. <laughs> I caught you, Kalina. That's what you do, huh? Chiliasa. No, you don't do that? <laughs> you. <With> your students? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Let's go. Just teasing you. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, Janet. I have, oh, not Janet, Irina, right? I have to get you together with. Where are yeah, you? Yeah, two Irinas. Remember, teacher. Please. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, yes, Lenny. Lenny, I understand. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, Lenny, for letting me know. Uh, where are you, Irina? Okay, I found you. So I'm going to get you together with Kalina. Kalina and Irina, and then Sonia, you're going to go together with. I have no idea who. Okay, Rafael, I guess. All right, let's go, guys. Right, let's join, guys. Let's join. Salomon. Okay, no problem. Okay, okay. Luis, let's let's practice the question of what would you rather. <laughs> Would you, uh, would you, would you rather uh, roll in in the, in the park when you need to exercise? Would you rather what? I'm sorry. You mean run? Run. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, run. good, good job. All right. And what would be the answer for that, Miguel? Um, I I would rather run in the. I don't say the, the tracking or the tracking wrong. I, I don't know how to say. Uh, the, the track road? Track road, yeah. Uh, track I think road. it's called the, the uh, yeah, the, the I, I, it's, it's got a different name. It's track something. Go ahead. 
Okay, I would rather to, to uh, no, I, I, would, I would rather run in the, in the park than, than the street. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I don't know, you have a question for me or Lenny? Uh, uh, for you, Luis. Okay. Uh, okay. Would you rather? It's, to... oh, it's called a run track. That's a, that, a running track. Running that's, track. That's, yeah, running track. Okay. Okay, Luis. Okay. Would you rather to? No, 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 no. What's would you wrong rather? There? Would you no. rather stay? Yes. Stay at home on weekends than go to the. Um, let's start. Okay. We need to follow that structure. Would plus subject plus rather plus base form plus complement. Uh, okay. Myrna. I'm Hello. sorry, Myrna. What happened to your partner? I don't know. She uh, did not speak with me. Just uh, se salió. <laughs> was that Janet? Yeah, but I don't know what happened. Oh, I, I think it's because. Uh, hold on. I get Laura Ramos. I'm not sure if she's going to speak because I think she doesn't. Let me try. Hold on. Yeah, it's just I think Janet uses a different. Um, she uses a, a different microphone to speak in. Oh, in here. Yes. yeah. Because she said in the chat second, but I don't know what it's second. <laughs> All right, Laura. Hello, Laura. Are you there? Hello. Hello, nice to see you again. How are you? Uh, fine. Uh, sorry, I'm late, but I don't know what are you doing. All right. Uh, Mirna will explain okay. to you what we're doing here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I sent the uh, image if the, at the group of the WhatsApp. And the WhatsApp group. The WhatsApp, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm lost in the English. <laughs> no, that's okay. And we're gonna uh, ask two questions about the, the topic. Like, would you rather play soccer or softball? Like that. Yes, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you. All right, continue. It's so but you teach uh, to the kids? Yes, for okay. kinder. Okay. Okay. Very Look. different. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. 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 Well, we did our exercise, teacher. Let me hear you. That's, that's, okay. that's why I'm here. Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask the first one. Uh, would you rather study economy or archi architect architecture? Architecture. Architecture. Yes. Okay. I rather study architecture than economy. All right, that's it. Okay. And Good and job. then I asked Kalena, uh, would you rather go out on vacation or stay home? All right. I rather I rather go out than stay home. Okay, I, I'd rather go out than stay home. Okay. All right, very good, very good guys. Now go um out. yes, notice notice okay, right? When you say I'd it, it's not the same D guys that you have in Spanish. Okay, in Spanish the D is the, the D is different. Do you know what the alveolar is? No, the alveolar, right? The alveolar is the part of your mouth that you use to pronounce this. Ra -da -ra -da -da, when you do that sound, when you make that sound, right? Uh, the ra -da -ra -da -da sound, right? That is the alveolar. So the D sound 
uses the alveolar as well. So you have to say the I'd rather. I'd see I'm not I'm not touching my teeth. I don't say I'd uh, I'd da, 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 I'd rather. I'd 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 rather. I'd rather. I'd rather. Okay. Yes, right. rather. So when you when you pronounce the D in English, you do not touch your teeth, okay? And that's the point, right? Okay. No touching I, your teeth when you're I da 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 da. All right, all right. All right, continue practicing, girls. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hello, guys. How are we doing here? Hello. Hello. Hello teacher. How's everything? How are Hello. You good? Hello, everything good? Yeah. All right, so let me hear you. I, I guess. <laughs> We're trying yes. Why do you to, guess? Uh, to understand this topic. Ask me, if you have questions, ask me, go ahead. I'll, I'll gladly answer them for you. Go ahead. Janet, I'm sorry. Uh, can you hear? Can you hear us now? I invited the two Janets here. Yeah, because my computer uh, don't have the microphone. Okay, can you right. use my device. Two device. So, okay, yes, yes, but but I, we can hear you now. We can hear you and we can see yes, you. Yes. So. Very, very good. So so let me hear you guys. Okay, let me hear you, Paco. Let me hear you, Janet. All right. So question and answer. Okay, I have uh, talked about this topic before. I I didn't know uh, uh, really in grammatical way, but I have uh, talked about it uh, before. Like when the exam, like this example says, I would rather stay at home than go out right now. I could yeah. say I would rather uh, to um, go. Go swimming and still to go um, play football. Okay, all right. Follow the structure, right? So, how would you how would you ask me a question, Janet? Um, would you like? Um, would you rather go to the Japanese? You mean, would you rather go to Japan? You're talking about the country. Yeah, Japan. You're talking about Japan. You're talking about the country, right? Okay, so would you rather go to Japan? That's what you said. Would you rather go to Japan? All right, very good, very good, okay. Uh, so how would you say it, Mr. Juan Hernandez, how would you say it, sir? Um, um, I give you an example of. Yes, yes, give me your example, please. Um, with rather or prefer? With, with rather, we're just seeing rather right now. We're going to talk about prefer later. Mm -hmm. Would, would you rather uh, swimming? No, remember base form, right? Or, would you rather swim? Would you rather swim or play the guitar? All right, very good. Mm -hmm. Would you rather swim or play the guitar? Okay, we're going to go back now, guys, to the main room. All right. All right, guys. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, most of you did, uh, you know, uh, got the hang of it. So well done, guys. Congratulations for you. A big round of applause for you guys. Okay, good, 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 good job. Okay, super good. All right, guys. So now, all right, let's talk about something really, really important here. Um, all right, so let's go back here, guys. Guys, do not forget the structure, okay? I saw people using here, guys, would you rather too? Guys, we do not use this when we say rather, okay? Therefore, that's the reason why this is a topic on itself because this is this is different, you know? And most of the times we're gonna use 
uh, we're going to use the preposition to here, making the verb an infinitive, but we're not going to do that here, okay? All right. Uh, other than that, guys, okay, so use base form of the verb plus base form, all right? Now, uh, we're not going to practice the, pra the past today. But we're going to move on to the next slide, guys, because we need to talk about the next slide. But uh, is there something not clear about would you rather, guys, so far? Let me QA check on you. So, Mirna, all right? So, what is the difference of rather and any other verb uh, when joined together? So, why is rather different? What makes it different? I think that with rather we have to, to we need to well, two options. Okay, so you talk about two options, all right? Uh, and okay, so you talk about two options, okay? But what makes rather uh, different in comparison to other verbs? So what makes it different? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, <laughs> guys. What teacher, is possible, teacher, is a, uh, similar to models verb. Uh, similar to the model verbs. Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, yes, somebody else was going to say something. I heard someone else. Uh, maybe, teacher, it, it may something like a selection, a preference. Uh, preference, okay. All right, preference. Yes, it is a preference, yes. Or you but, have choices to select, I don't know. All right, Paco, Paco, raise your hand, okay? Let's, all right, yes, you have choices, okay. All right, go ahead, Paco. Okay, yes, that's actually what I was uh, trying to say, that I understand that when we say rather, is when you have a choice. When someone tell you, uh, Two, I mean, two or three ways to do whatever you're gonna do. Okay. I mean, when you go to a restaurant, someone can tell you, would you like to... Would you rather, right? Very good, guys. You're right, you know, the usage, guys, okay? Or... Right. Yes, yes, Mirna. Rather cannot be conjugated. Or okay. I don't know. Okay, all right. First of all, first of all, thank you, Marina. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Yes, you, Sorry you about. Guys, everybody, all right, everybody guys giving me the um, you know the usage, right? So you guys are telling me, you guys are telling me what you use rather for. Okay, that's what you guys are telling me. You know, and, and that's great, guys. You use it for, you know, to talk about well, when you have to options okay so you are absolutely right about this guys you use it when you have two options okay all right you guys are right what i was asking you guys is this what makes rather guys is rather a verb guys by the way is that a verb rather uh is it a verb it's an auxiliary teacher rather is a verb guys it's a verb? yes all right rather is a verb so I was asking you guys, so what makes rather different than other verbs? ¿Qué lo diferencia de otros verbos? And is, the answer is this, guys. What if I say, I like cook? Is this correct? I like cook? Nope. Why? Why not? Yes, yeah. it's correct. Because, no, because uh, we, we, mm -hmm. we, uh, we, we need to add to food. food. I like to cook. Yeah, we have to, we need to add add infinity. Yeah. Infinity. Okay, so it's it's because guys, okay, it's because we need an infinity, okay? So the reason why rather is different is because we're not using uh we we don't have to use an infinity. So I like to cook, right? Cook. But check this mm -hmm. out. I rather cook. Got it? We don't say mm -hmm. I rather to cook. All right. And this is the difference, guys. So I rather play basketball than play tennis. Notice that when we keep since we start using, you know, since we started using 
uh, the base form of the verb, guys, we have to continue using the, the base form of the verb mm -hmm. after comparing the second thing that we're trying to compare, right? In this case, I'm comparing basketball to tennis. Sounds all right. Does it make sense now? All right. So that is the difference, guys. Okay. That is the difference in grammar. All right. Okay, guys. So last one to turn on the camera. Five, four, three, two. All right. Last one to turn to turn on the camera, guys, is going to be my participant. One. Thank you very much, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. All right. Laura, the first time I see you, Laura. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So, Sonia. So give me an example, Sonia. There you go, Sonia. <laughs> well, a nice, nice meet you, Sonia. Hi. Hello. All right. Go ahead. Hello. Give me, give me one example, Sonia. The answer or uh, as an answer, yes. Okay. Would you ra rather play soccer or? play basketball or play basketball uh, is it, wasn't that my example all right so what would you rather soccer or basketball go ahead sonia sorry go ahead what would be the answer this would you rather answer. play soccer or play basketball yes the answer i rather rather play uh -huh. Soccer than basketball. Good job. Applause for Sonia, guys. Good job, Sonia. Thank you very much. All right. And thank you for turning on the cameras. Okay. Nice meeting a lot of you guys. Ah, I thought that the camera was not working. Ah, you were hiding. <laughs> hey, trucos que dan gusto, right? Very good. Thank you. All right. Super good job. <laughs> I made you turn on the cameras. All right, guys. Okay. So we use it, guys. Okay. Take notice. Okay. So we use it, guys. We'll write this down when we want to express a preference okay that's number one that's the reason why we use it as that's that's the number one reason guys when we want to express a preference uh, we also use it guys when we are talking about a preference on someone else's actions okay a preference guys on someone else's action actions referring to the present or the future all right so notice, guys. What is there something some some difference here? Uh, subject plus would rather plus object plus past tense. There is a difference here, guys. There is a difference in the structure. However, I am not. We are not gonna touch this for you today. This is not for you today, guys, because I I want you to take a look at this. Okay, I want you to you take a look at the usages, right? The different usages. These guys, you're not gonna practice today because you're gonna be confused, okay? We're gonna practice these tomorrow, okay? But not today, guys, okay? Right now, I want you to understand, guys, that we also use it because of this, okay? Someone else's preferences, okay? All right? Um, so now, guys, let's, um, uh, let me ask you, do you have any question regarding rather? Yeah, I have one. Tell me, tell me, tell me, uh, tell me. I can I omit no I I can I, uh, I said I rather run in the street uh, than uh, yeah than running the machine I don't know how can I say máquina de correr treadmill yeah I, I, the, my question is is I, if I it's correct that I say just rather, not yes. would. I rather. Oh no 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 no. Uh, no, you think you need to say I would rather. All right. Uh, yeah, that that's like that's a good question. Okay. All right. So um, that's that's good. I mean, you can say I rather, but that's another structure. Okay. All right. I would rather is what you need to use here. What you hear people say is I'd rather. This is what you hear people say. Oh, I rather, which means I would rather. Okay. Oh, I'd rather. See, that's what you hear in the movies. Oh, you know, in the movies, for example, right? Um, very good question. Very good question. Okay. So um, now, guys, when we talk about prefer, 
Uh, we're going to go into more detail about this tomorrow, guys. When we talk about prefer, guys, notice there's a big difference here. What is the big difference, guys, with prefer and rather? We need an infinity. All right. We need an infinitive, guys, okay? So, guys, when you talk about prefer, you need an infinitive. You need what, guys? Infinity. All right, you need an infinitive, all right? So it's always about that, okay? Infinitive, okay? All right, so for example, guys, uh, let's take a look at the example number one. Let's see, Lenin, all right, uh, well, not learning. Solomon, Salomon, uh, oh, would you please tell me read, Salomon? No. Yes. You're good? Okay, all right. All right, let's go. Laura. Laura Camp. Who said me? Okay. Uh, example. I prefer to learn English. Okay, I so prefer I prefer mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Not to study on weekend. Very good. Okay, very good job. Guys, you have to use all right, would, okay? I prefer to learn English. I prefer not to study on weekends, okay? I would prefer, I would prefer, okay? So it's like that all the time. I prefer to learn English, okay? So uh, here, guys, because you're giving an opinion, okay? So Peter, tell me. And the first one. Uh, I'm sorry, I muted you accidentally. Uh, Irina, I muted you accidentally. I'm sorry, ask your question again, please. Okay, in the first example, English is uh, wrong, the word. Yes, it is. It is wrong. You're right about that. Good, good catch. <laughs> Do you have a question? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. Okay, you should be English like this, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so yes. Okay, let's let's try. Right, let's let's just. Uh, English, right? Corrected by Myrna, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is it better now, Myrna? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm... it was me, teacher. Oh, Irena. Oh, Irina. Irina. Okay, Irina. <laughs> all right, very good. So, all right, corrected by Irina, 2021. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you for noticing that. Okay. All right. Any question, guys? Any question here? I know that English is misspelled there, guys. I have a question. Tell me. No, I don't. Oh, you don't. Okay. I thought you said that you had a question. Okay. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. Do my favor, guys. I need five examples from each of you. Okay. Send me two in the positive, guys, and three in negative. Okay. Two in positive, guys, and three in negative in the chat room right now please all right we'll, we'll see that later okay you can take a look at the structure here so let's go all right guys so i'm waiting for your responses thank you very much let me read them uh i prefer to watch tv i would prefer not to watch tv at all thank you janet good job irena i prefer to go to the mountain good job miguel franco I prefer not to eat spicy food. Good job. Paco, I prefer to stay home. Good job. Irina, I prefer not to drive. Good job. Alejandro, I prefer not to wake up early. Good job. All right. I prefer not to play video games. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
Perfect, guys. You you guys are sending me perfect examples. Okay, continue. Uh, Zonia, I I prefer to watch series. Uh, I prefer to play soccer. Solomon, thank you. Okay, all right. I prefer no. I prefer. I would prefer Janet. All right. I'm not Janet. I'm sorry, uh, Alejandro. I would prefer, or I'd prefer to watch movies. Okay. Uh, I would prefer to go to the movie than to go to the movies than than watch TV. I right, Luis, I would prefer to go to the movies than watch TV. Okay, because all right, movies, movies, movies. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Guys, all right. So, so continue sending me your examples, guys. I have a question for you. Is there anybody here, guys, who has not finished? Section, um, section number two. Section number two, guys. Have we all finished section number two? Yeah, todos teacher, terminamos. I think. Uh, you finished already, yeah, or you didn't? No, no, I, I, I have one less. I want, I have one not to finish because when I wrote the. <laughs> The answers everybody was uh, wrong, but okay. it was the same that you gave us at the class, and I think it was the the platform. Okay, all right. Which one? Which one are you talking about? Uh, let me check. Um, let me check the chair. If anybody else, guys, is running into the same issue, please let me know. I will gladly help you right now. Um, we're gonna go over, guys, the exercises from the platform number, from the section number three as well. But I want to make sure, guys, that you have completed, you know, section number two this week, guys. You all need to complete two things. You need to complete section number three, and the and the midterm. All right, there is a midterm at the end that needs to be completed. All right. Uh, I will do tonight, teacher. All right, very good. But did you find your question? Yeah, is the I think is the last exercise uh, from the lesson two. Okay, and uh, um, I, I don't think it's the last one though. No, I don't know, but I will send. Um, is for example when it says the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created as the rain and is as a result of that one, but I, I don't remember if it's the last one. No, it's not the last one, but I have it here. Uh, I, I we we already gave those answers though. Yeah, and I and I wrote the answer that you uh, gave us at the class. But uh, there was a mistake. Maybe it I'm gonna, was misspelled. Maybe I'm gonna say something, guys. Si vos pones un espacio de más, está mal. Yeah. Tenés que asegurarte que no tenés un espacio. Si pones una comida en vez de un signo de admiras de I don't know how to call this quotation mark. You know, then that's gonna be wrong too, right? Yes. That's those are the answers, right? That's that's the answer. So you can copy and paste it. Okay, just make sure. Um, because it is, you know, the, when I go to, to the part, to this part of the platform, it takes it as correctly. So we have the same platform, right? Nothing changes. So see, okay. so over here, right? If I do that and I say submit, see, it's, it's correct. Yes. So, uh, so make sure we finish it guys. Uh, but is there anybody guys, is there anybody else with issues in this section of the platform or are we good? We're good. All right, guys. So, guys, so tomorrow, guys, we're going to continue. Um, we're going to continue with the rest of the section number three, guys. Uh, it's been great being with you. As always, guys, thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. You guys are awesome. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. And See you tomorrow, teacher. Happy, happy, uh, happy night. <laughs> Good night, guys. Yeah, thank you. You too. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. See Good you, guys. Night, thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Be early tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.